Hey there everyone, it's Cam back with another video. I'm going to show you how to sharpen your chainsaw. Um, I'm going to be using a steel filer, um, which came with a chainsaw, and the model will be the steel MS-290 Farm Boss with a 20 inch wood boss blade. Um, so your steel chainsaw should come with a manual to show you which filer or like depth gauge you should use because, for example, I can't use this one because this one's too small for the teeth. This one's for our, the 170. Um, and to do that, I'm going to be using the 170 box, but the back of this box should have all the dimensions on what file you should use. This is for an MS-170, but this is for every steel chainsaw. You have all the information you need on this to help you know what to sharpen. Um, and your, your steel manual should give you the right instruction. The steel filing kit should come with, again, more help. The primary sharpen is usually 30 degrees. It comes with, sorry, flat filer, a death gauge, and the sharpener filer itself. Um, when you sharpen, it's best to put in a vise, you know, for more support. And when it's held this way, you want to sharpen the teeth facing this way. And then when you're done sharpening all the teeth, the teeth have to be facing this way. And, you know, you'll be sharpening at a 30 degree angle. Um, if you do it the wrong way, you'll understand because it's pretty much weird um i usually mark when i'm gonna sharpen first so i don't accidentally sharpen keep resharpening the saw um it's very simple just take your chain break has to be off or else you're not gonna get far um it's gonna go at 30 degrees it's best to do it around six times oh uh, Five, six. Chain's gonna be replaced soon. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, and that's sharp. You can feel it. And once you're done, just keep. Ouch! Keep going through. Make sure to wear gloves. Thirty degrees. This is good. This file is good because it'll line up. Um. You want to make sure that your the file was level. You don't want to go down like that or up like this, and you don't want to go back or forth. You just want to keep going in one direction, which I mean is just this. Pick it up and keep doing it. Sharpen it an even amount of times because you don't want to be cutting and the saws all chains all funky. This is good maintenance to help your chain last longer instead of having to buy a new one periodically. This only takes five to 10 minutes of your time. And you'll be saving 20, 30, $40. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this side and then I'm gonna switch it around and show you how you do it with the other side. And this is very straightforward. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now I have the saw flipped over so I could sharpen the um, opposite side. And if you're wondering why the bar is upside down, still recommends every time you sharpen your chainsaw to flip the bar to reduce putting uh, i forgot like an um i forgot but it's it's something simple you don't really have to do that we've had the bar like this for a while and i'm gonna start on this side i would mark it a different color and it's good to go It's 
always recommended to wear gloves. Um, just so you don't nick your fingers while moving the chain. Hope everyone's enjoying their day. Um, Alright, so once again, simple. This sh Your first time doing this is going to take a while, but you'll get used to it. I'm going to finish this and then show you the last step that some people forget. Okay, okay, the final step I have, I have the chainsaw back to where it was originally. You can take your death gauge now and you don't have to do alternate teeth for this. You can do every teeth at once. So I have to tighten this a little bit. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, it would be fine. Um... Just mark it again where you're going to start and you take the death gauge and you're just going to make sure that this isn't over the, um, the gauge and you would just take your filer and do that and after that you're done and that's how you sharpen your chainsaw. 10 minutes max. That's all it takes to help your bar and chain stay strong. And do the right deed. You know what? Your chainsaw would take forever. You want to let your chainsaw do the work, not you. Hope this video helps. Enjoy. Sub, share, comment, like. Thank you. Good night.